Good morning, sunshines. If we could run it, if we could run it back into your water. Today, we're gonna start off the day with our morning stretch routine, which I've been doing for a couple weeks now, and it makes me feel like a million bucks. So I thought I'd share. You know? I always wonder if the cats are like mean mugging me from the windows, but they haven't been, surprisingly. Every morning I've been starting my day with a little stretch. Um, it just kind of helps get my body ready for the day. All the little creaks and everything from sleeping, or maybe I'm just getting old, I don't know. It just makes me feel a lot better. I always start with uh, head and shoulder rolls because they're really nice and easy. Gets that neck, trap, shoulder pain out. We move on to a little cat cow. This is getting my back stretched out. Feels so good to just get, again, the neck, shoulder, back. We're getting everything loosened up. These child pose rock backs, I like to switch it up between movement, like a little dynamic, and then I kind of do a static hold as well. Just whatever feels good. I just kind of listen to my body and, and do whatever feels nice for the day. Different things are sore on different parts or different days, so it just depends on the day. These, I have no idea what they're called. It's like a bend and reach. It feels so, so good. Just feels such like a, a chest opener. You get a back twist in. It feels amazing. We love hip openers, obviously. Um, these are a classic like pre-leg day move, but I also just like it in general in my mornings. I always have one side that's a little tighter than the other, so I'll spend a little more time on that side occasionally, but it's a classic. We obviously, you know, we're always working towards our splits. Why not? Um, a lateral stretch, this is another one that I kind of switch from dynamic to static. I'll do a few movement. I feel like it helps me like really get into place. And then I'll just hold the movement, move a little, whatever feels good. I'm always listening to my body. I know this is not called the back cracker, but I always call it this because I think 80, at least 80% of the time, my back does crack during this stretch, uh, but it feels so good. It's such a good back twist. I always do both sides um, and kind of hold my leg there. It really helps me stay flat. This is one of my favorite stretches of all time. I, my glutes are always tight, to be fair, no matter what I've worked out recently or not. Um, so this one's always really nice just to get that nice little glute stretch in and I'll kind of twist my ankles as I go as well. Kind of get a two for one there. Whatever feels good. We love it. Last but not least, we throw in a shoulder rotation. I'll grab a towel, sweater, whatever's close by. And then the closer together your hands are, the more difficult the movement is or the more of a stretch that you get. So I really like to incorporate this one just to loosen up the shoulders, open up the chest, get us feeling nice, warm, ready for the day. It was like one of those 2 a.m. ones. It was on sale, but we're gonna give it a go. You know, see what happens. I even carry it. Oh, barely. Down the stairs. See we go. Oh, God. Oh. Hi. Yes, I've booby trapped my own hallway. Okay, hard part done. I got it down the stairs. I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna eat, but then, then we'll put this bad boy together. See if I get any use out of it. Today's video is sponsored by Factor, but make it girly pop. <laughs> Factor is a meal prep, meal service company providing you fresh, never frozen meals every single week. My meals are as shown. All of my red meals means they have some sort of meat in them and the green will mean that it is vegetarian. You can also get blue, which means it'll have seafood in it. These require no prep, no mess. You throw them in the microwave for two minutes and they're ready to go for you. Today we decided to go with the tomato goat cheese cavatappi primavera, which is a vegetarian pasta and one of my favorites. 
Each week you'll have over 34 weekly restaurant quality options to choose from. You can go and custom select that in the Factor app or you can just pick your pre kind of approved plan that you'd like and let them pick for you. So you can pick from Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, a vegan and veggie plan. There's tons of different options for you depending on what your goals and needs are. In addition to the meals that you can choose from, they also have over 45 add-ons each week. You can get different breakfast items. You can get different beverage items, cold pressed juices, shakes, or smoothies these you can add up on protein if you just want sides of like extra chicken or anything for that day so they have so many different options just to make your life easier and that is our factor meal nutritious wholesome delicious I even order these when I'm not sponsored because they're just not good. Code Nikki50 at factor75.com for 50% off of your first box. So if you haven't tried them out yet, go ahead and give your first box a go. See if you like it. I think you probably will. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. And let's get on with the vlog. I love you. Okay, so Abercrombie, we are gonna put together the treadmill, I swear. <laughs> Abercrombie had a sale. I picked up I don't know where to put myself in the frame. Picked up a couple things, only three things, not nothing crazy. I thought I'd try them on for you. I got this little top. It's like linen. I'm a linen girl now. I got these. Uh, Barbie came out and I've just lost my mind, you know? I've just lost my mind. We wear pink now. I don't know what's happening, what universe is. I don't know if these look too wide leg or not. We're gonna find out. It'll probably be fine, we'll see. I also got some wide leg jeans. Also look very wide, but these come in short. I think they're both short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should fit me lengthwise at least, you know? We have to count our blessings when you're 5'1". Let's count myself lucky. They have short. This is coincidence that I happened to get these two things around the same time. But I just ordered these buttons off Amazon and they're like little jean hack. $5, I think. But I ordered a size 26, which I really thought that's what it was. But it's a little too loose. The button, there's just like a little too much give back here. So I have this faux button. It's like a pin, I put it on, and then we're gonna zip, and we're gonna button the faux button instead of the real button, you know what I'm saying? So it's a little tighter. How cute is that? Wow. Now, as for the width, I don't hate it. The back is, looks a little weird to me. I don't know if I need to like pull them down or in, or maybe they just need to be broken in or something. I need to sit on them more. I kinda like it, I kinda don't, I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. But we will try this other fit on. These pink pants come in several different colors. So you just pull them up. You don't have to unzip or anything. They had give a lot, you know? So I really like that about them. And I actually think they're really cute. The top also nice. I don't know if they go together necessarily, but I kind of want to get the pants because I think they have the pants in this color as well. And now I kind of want the pants. I don't know if their sales still going on. Probably not, but I like these. Are we all Barbie girls now or what? I'm still a Bratzko at heart and you guys know it. You guys know it. Big shoes for life. Not right this second, but you know. To further explain my choice in this under desk treadmill that I've required, <laughs> I saw it on someone else's story. I thought it looked cool. I used their link. It was on sale for like 40% off. I got this a little while ago, honestly. It's been sitting in my <laughs> front room for a while. It's a walking pad, I want to say. What are these strange materials it came with? Why do I need this? This is a treadmill, not a science project. Squish has a weird problem where he really likes to chew on styrofoam and he's not allowed to. Why is there a huge Allen wrench? What do I need this for? Is it not together already? Squish, this would be a lot easier if I didn't have to lift fat little fluffy cat out of the way as well. You know what I'm saying, my love. Thank you. No, no, no. I gotta deadlift this guy out. Oh my. I'm gonna close this. No. Honestly, looking at it, it's actually a very nice, manageable size. Like, I feel like it would be very easy to put to the side. I don't have to have it out all the time. And it's quite sleek looking. I'm not mad about it. I'm not sure if this thing's just gonna work. It does not just work with the remote. I just had to turn it on. I <laughs> had the, the switch. This is my desk at standing height. Come here, baby. I just say E07. What does that mean? I don't want to read the directions. Fine. I have to download an app. Everything needs an app nowadays. I've got 400 apps on my phone. So it wasn't working because I didn't have the safety key on. And not that I'm telling anyone else to do this, but I'm not actually gonna clip it on because 
I, th I have a desk in front of me. I think I'm going to be okay. Connecting to the app. Oh, I'm on the app. I'm going half 0.5 miles per hour. Now what I'm thinking here, can I realistically do anything at the computer while I'm like, that's high as it goes. I'm like, oh, tall. I'm short as heck. I think I could, you know? I really think I could. Maybe not like play an actual like game game, you know? This is cool. 2.4. I'm chilling. I'm walking. I'm getting my steps in. I'm at the computer. I'm a fan. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I kind of like it. This is cool. I've got a desk. I could be on my laptop. I could be editing. I could be on my phone. I don't know if this is like bad for your posture to stand and do things at the same time or to walk with like your arms resting on something. Does that throw yourself out of alignment maybe? I don't know, but I like it. And it was on sale. We love a sale. Maybe I can get squish on it until some of this energy can get out. Am I right, squash? Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. It gradually decreases and she's off. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was gonna be more disorienting than it was, than it is, which is kind of cool. That's exciting. That could get my steps up. I like to spend time on the computer. Sometimes I'm just watching videos, playing games, editing, whatever I'm doing. And now I can just walk while I'm idle, while you're waiting, just being silly. I don't have to go into my gym and set something up with my treadmill. And then my Wi-Fi doesn't really reach out on my treadmill in the garage for some reason, even though the router's literally right here, but something on the wall there, it just doesn't like reach out there. So my videos are always cutting off, etc., etc. This is a game changer for my steppies. I do think in general, going outside and getting a, like a real walk-in is better just because you get some nature in, some grounding work. We love that for the mental health. But this is also an additional option to help me out. I'm excited. It's gonna be great. I was about to say, I, I wanna read my book right now. I've been obsessively reading this Blood and Ash series. Super spicy. Compared to the last spicy book I read, this is like, oh my like, girl. How often are you gonna do this? But I like it. I'm on the third book, so clearly I don't hate it, you know. The first two books were very slow. I'm surprised I got through them, but I did push through. It was fine. A lot of character building, whatever. And I'm on book three, and book three is pretty, like there's a lot of action going on. And that's what I like, I like a lot of action. So book three is good. Probably getting to a few chapters tonight and uh, yeah, call it a day. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. You're the best. If you have any other book recommendations, they don't have to be spicy. This one just happens to be. But um, I really enjoy fiction. Fantasy novels are my favorite. I don't know. Sometimes when I'm reading a book about normal people in normal lives, I feel like like it's not enough of an escape for me. You know, I need more of an escape. I need an entirely different world. I need magic. I need random crazy things that I don't understand going on because it's a distraction and it's fun and I love that. I don't know, I just really like fantasy books. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. I just got a Kindle. I had a Kindle before, but I gave my old one to my sister, but I finally got another one because I was tired of buying book books because I'm running out of shelf space. And every time I move, I'm just like, why do I have so many books? They're kind of a pain. Look at these guys right now, look at them. On the same chair? Who is this? Ruby's gonna move any minute now. <laughs> look at her, look at her. Ruby, so sweet, showing a chair with Squishy for a minute. I'll go ahead and cut it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog -aroo. I'll see you soon. Love you, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see you in the next one. That's all for now. Bye. Hey, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> we could run